Salamat po, Madam Chair. Yung hindi po pagdating ng ating malawang Pangulo ngayon. Ang spetsa ko po ay dahil sa nangyari ng mga pagtatanong nung nakaraang pagdinig. I have heard the volume and the barrage of questions asked by members of this committee to the Vice President. Despite the fact, Madam Chair, I heard her several times saying, I forego the opportunity of defending the OBP budget for 2025 by question and answer, and I leave it to the House of Representatives to decide on such proposal as presented. That was the template of an answer given by the Office of the Vice President. Madam Chair, napilitan po akong mag-raise ng parliamentary inquiry. I think I have earned this. If I survive my term up to next year, I would have survived also, or I have I would have completed 18 years in this institution. And in this length of time, I have observed a, a, a tradition. The tradition is the two highest positions of government, namely the office of the vice president and the office of the president. are not traditionally subjected to questions. I have observed this for a long a time, for so long a time. May I refresh the memory of the members of this uh, committee, Madam Chair? In 2022, the minority leader, Honorable Liban, citing courtesy to the office of the vice, pre vice president took only about 13 minutes to move for the termination of the budget of the Vice President. And after that, the majority leader seconded the motion. That was 2022, Madam Chair. Then 2023, no less than the presidential son, our own senior deputy majority leader, the Honorable Sandro Marcos, stood up and invoked the long honored tradition, according to the to the OBP, Office of the Vice President. And in the same manner, he moved for determination of the Office of the Budget, the consideration of the Budget of the Office of the President, Vice President. I also recall, Madam Chair, that it was terminated. And with the full consternation of Honorable Franz Castro, who then objected, but her objections were never heard until she, she moved to to make up record by way of manifestation, her objection. But the committee collectively said, you can no longer do that because there was already a termination of the hearing. This is observed this. We have upheld this tradition. My question is, is this committee authorized to set aside or discard the tradition? That is the question. Consideration of the budget of the press of the of the vice president, Madam Chair, on the basis of the long and time-honored tradition, Madam Chair. In order for us to respect a tradition, in the same manner that we have respected the tradition here, that the first to interpolate every time is the member of the minority. That is the tradition. We have not yet discarded that. We are observing that because we are honorable members of this Congress. So the question is, why, we, why have we discarded that tradition? Is this committee authorized to set aside the tradition? If we are not able to do that, Madam Chair, then I honorably and respectfully now move to terminate consideration of the budget of the office of the Vice President, and I so move. Second, Madam Chair. Thank you. Nangyari po nung nakarat, nangyayari na naman ngayon. Bakit nangyari po nung nakarat, nangyayari na naman ngayon? Because you're talking about the office. You may not like the person. You may not like her presence here.
But you have to respect the office of the vice president. Sir, no, the office, the motion was introduced. You may not like the person. You may not like her presence here.